going to teach you about personal administration. So, what is personal administration? By the name administration, it means we are administrating the data of a person, meaning data of an employee. Think about when a company hires an employee, the company needs information from the employee such as his first name, last name, his bank details, his home address and different other details. So, that information will be going to be captured under this module called personal administration. So, the first lecture in this one, as per the sequence, the lecture number is 7, but the first lecture under this personal administration is transaction code and info type maintenance. So, we will be learning what is transaction code, what are the important transaction codes in HR, what is info type, what are the different info types in HR, what is subtype. So, what is transaction code? Each function in the SAP system has a transaction code associated with it. By entering a transaction code, instead of using the menu, you go to a task and start the function in a single step or in other words, you go to any task in an, S in an SAP application very faster. Now, what does it mean? Let me explain you with an example. If you see the first step, how to use the transaction code. You place the cursor in the command field. The command field is located in the toolbar which is shown up here. You enter a transaction code such as PA30. Then once you type the transaction code, you hit enter and then the result screen will basically gives you the task of maintaining the master data. So, it was very quickly because it was just a single step. You just enter the transaction code PA30, you hit enter and it gave you the screen maintain HR master data where you can maintain the employees data. So, instead of navigating to PA30, if you know the transaction code, it will really help you. So, there are some important transaction codes in HR, like in personal administration, there are <coughs> transaction codes like PA10, PA20, PA30, PA40, PE03. So, each transaction code has its own purpose. Similarly, there are some transaction codes for organizational management and there are some transaction codes for payroll, live PA03 for control record, PU01 to delete the current payroll results. So, there are, these are some of the important uh, transaction codes in payroll, uh, such as like uh, the fourth one, uh, PC underscore pay result. If you want to display the payroll results of an employee, you use this transaction code. I will explain you more in detail when we learn about payroll, which is a separate section. Coming to time management, these are the different transaction codes to display the time data and maintain the time data. So, this was the transaction code. So, what the transaction code is used for? It is used to jump to a task in a single step. Now, let us learn what is info type. <coughs> In the beginning, I told you when a company hires an employee, the company needs information from the employee regarding his personal details, regarding his bank details, regarding his address details and many other information. So, where is this information going to be stored? So, this information is stored in info type. SAP has provided info type. What is this info type means? Info type use, I mean SAP HR uses info types to store all employee relevant data required for administration purposes. So, 
the purpose of the info type is to store the employee information info type is a four digit code sap has given these info types each info type is used for its own purpose info type stores similar data into one screen meaning that personal details cannot be stored in the info type bank details similarly bank details cannot be stored in any other info type each info type has its own detail i mean uh, the purpose for example bank details info type 9 the purpose of this info type 9 bank details is to store only the bank information you will not be storing the last name first name middle name birth date because those details are captured in info type 2 so in each info type you will find some fields some of them will be mandatory and some of them will be optional how will you find the field is mandatory when there is a small tick mark then that field is a mandatory field and that if if a field doesn't have a tick mark then that field is an optional i mean if you want to enter the information it's fine even if you want to leave it's fine <coughs> What are the different info types in HR? Similarly, I told you like how uh, how many transaction codes are are in HR. Similarly, uh, these are the different info types in HR. So the following are the different ranges of info types used in HR. SAP has given a range of info types to be used in HR. The first one is personal administration info types. The range is from 0000 to 0 999. This range is used for personal administration info types. Similarly, for organizational data, the info type range is from 1000 till 1999. Coming to time management info types, the range is from 2000 till 2999. And the custom info types is 9000 to 9999. What is custom info type? Let me explain you. In case the company is looking for an info type to meet to meet its requirement, my, for example, they are looking for an info type for some other purpose and they cannot find that info type in, in the standard ranges which SAP has provided, then in that case they go to the custom range like 9000 to 999 and they create their own info type so any info type which starts from 9 is a custom info type meaning that company has designed for its own purpose sap has not delivered that info type for any purpose so below are some of the important info types which will be used in personal administration make a note of these info types these are really important in any project the first info type is 0000, which is nothing but actions. The name of this info type is actions. What does this info type do? This info type is the mandatory and first info type. This info type captures the actions like hiring, termination, etc. Because when you hire an employee, it is an action. When you terminate an employee, it is an action. So these kind of actions like, you know, it will be stored in this info type. The second one is 0001 or we say info type 1. Info type 1 name is organizational assignment. What does this info type do? What does this info type stores? So this info type stores enterprise structure, personal structure and organizational assignment or all, I would say organizational plan. So, in this case, you might be knowing like in the previous sections or previous lectures, we talked about enterprise structure, personal structure and organizational structure. So, these three structures will be stored in info type 1 which is organizational assignment. The third one is the info type number 2 which is personal data. What does this info type 2 do is like they, uh, you know, it stores the first name, last name, birth date, etc. Then coming to info type number 6. Info type 6 is address. It stores the 
address details like it could be a permanent address, it could be a temporary address, your house number, your apartment number, your city, country, zip code, telephone number and similarly other details. Then info type number 7. What is info type 7? Info type 7 is planned working time. What does it mean? It means it stores the working time of an employee. Whether this employee is supposed to work 40 hours per week or 20 hours per, per week or 35 hours per week. Is this employee part time? Is this employee a full time? Those kind of details will be stored in info type 7. Coming to info type 8, info type 8 is basic pay. This info type stores the salary information. Now, coming to info type 9, info type 9 stores the bank details such as like bank information. It could be uh, like account number, uh, the name of the bank and the payment method like how the salary will be paid like whether it is going to be paid by check or cash and similar other details. And the last info type is 105 which is communication. This info type stores the email ID, user ID, etc. Because you know this info type is communication like how you are going to communicate in two ways. Communication to the employee, communication to the system. So these are the mandatory I would say important info types you need to know about so you can really make a note of it and go through the uh, these info types every time whenever you practice. So <coughs> now let us see uh, how will you access this info types like uh, if you do not know the info type number then how are you going to access like you are trying to remember it but you might you might forget. So SAP has given very very uh, you know uh, some uh, ways to access this info types. The first way is like uh, when you are into this transaction PA30. So this is screen is PA30 which is nothing but maintain HR master data. What is PA30? PA30 is the transaction code. In the previous slide I told you what is transaction code. I showed you the example of PA30. So when you enter PA30 and hit enter this screen will come up. Now in this screen you will see this info type field here. Now if you know the number of the info type you can enter 0001. But <coughs> if you do not know the number then there will be a small icon in this field. When you click that small icon it will give you the list of the complete like uh, info types with from where we, you, you can pick up the one which you are uh, basically looking for. So either if you know the number you can type that number if you do not know the number then you can click that small icon in the info type field or you can press F4. You can press F4. It will show you the list. Now let us see the some of the screens of the info type. Below is the screenshot of info type 1 which stores the HCM structures. As I told you, it stores the enterprise structure, the personal structure and organizational plan or organizational structure. So enterprise structure is company code, personal area and sub area. So these are stored in the enterprise structure section. Similarly personal structure is employee group employee subgroup and payroll area. These are a part of personal structure. The last one is the organizational plan which is made of position, job or unit. So these structures are stored in info type 1. Now this is basically the screenshot of info type 2. As mentioned earlier info type 2 is stores the first name, last name, the birth date and some other details which are relevant for the employee's personal details. In this particular info type, you will see <coughs> some of the fields has a drop down. Drop down means like the values are coming from somewhere. So these values which are coming in the drop down are basically the configured values. When, you, when I say configured, 
you have to recall how I configured the personal structure, enterprise structure. So, when you configure there, then those values will come up here. So, basically in other words, that is the background and this is the front end. Whatever you configure there, it will come in the drop down here. Because this is the front end screens which a user, end user will be using this screen. Because he or she will not know where this value coming from the drop down. As a functional consultant, you know that you have configured this value in the customization implementation guide IMG. That is a short form where we do the configuration. When you do the configuration there, then those values will come up in the drop down. Now, what is subtype? Now, you know what is info type, but there is a term called subtype. Subtype like is a division of info type. What does it mean? Take example of info type 6, which is address info type. Now, this address info type can have a permanent address, can have emergency address, can have home address. So, these will become the subtype of the main info type called address. You will see the subtype field here, which is beside the info type here. So, this is info type and this is subtype. Not all the info type will have subtype. Only those info type which is basically like info type 6 is one of the example and there is one, one example I would say info type 105 that is the communication which I, which I said you in the previous slide that info type will also have subtype. So, few of the info types will have subtypes not all the info types. Okay? So, let us go to the SAP and uh, see exactly uh, you know what is transaction code and what is uh, info type. So, I am entering my user ID and my password. So, this is the screen. First screen is this one. I told you this is the command bar. This is the command bar. You have to enter your transaction here. So, I am entering PA30 because I know PA30 is the transaction code which basically takes you to maintain HR master data. The moment you hint, you entered PA30, you can hit enter or you can basically click this icon here. So, I am clicking this icon here. So, now it took me to the maintain HR master data. If you do not know the transaction code, then normally you have to know the navigation like you have to go to human resources, you have to go to personal administration, you have to go to administration, you have to go to HR master data, then you have to go here. So, see the navigation, you have to basically remember this, you are going so much navigation one by one, one by one to reach PA 30, but if you know PA 30, you can directly enter here. So, even if you enter here, it takes, to, uh, it takes you to maintain master data or even if you go to the navigation and click this one, double click, it will take you the same. So, the, the, the best way is like if you remember the PA code, like uh, transaction code, you do not have to waste your time in searching the navigation. So, now you are into the transaction code. Now, let me tell you how you basically find the info type. So, for example, this is the number, employee number. I will tell you other things in the different uh, lectures, but uh, let us focus on the what is info type and subtype. So, info type I told you if you know the number, like I am typing 0001. I know the number, info type 1 is organizational assignment. So, when I enter the number and press enter, hit enter, I hit enter, it showed me the name automatically organizational assignment and it also highlighted the info type name. Now, now let us say take example of info type 2, 0002. Now, hit enter, it is personal data. So, it highlighted this. Now, if you do not know the info type number, then what you can do, this is a small icon here. If you see, this is a small icon. If you click this one, it will show you the list of the info type and you can pick up like whichever info type you want to work with. I want to work with like uh, for example, bank details. I will double click bank details. It showed me the bank details. 
So, this is the way how you access it. So, this is the bank details here. So, now if you want to maintain or if you want to create a new record for this particular info type, then these are the icons here. This is create. Create means first time you are creating. Change means like if a person's like bank information has changed, he requested you know my bank name is like uh, Chase Bank or something or like I would say he has changed his uh, you know basically the details of the bank in other words like he said oh no I uh, basically know my bank is Chase Bank and uh, the account number is this, the bank key is this and uh, the pay information is the em information of the employee. So, th this is like a change because you know whenever there is a change then they will uh, have the user it uh, you know he or she will go and click on this small pencil icon which is a change one. But if you are creating for the first time then you will basically go and click on this icon. So, remember every icon has a name. So, you just have to place your cursor and you will know what the purpose of this. Like I just placed the cursor here and uh, it showed me that it is display, change, create. So, this was the detail about what is transaction code and what is info type, how you basically navigate to transaction code and how you search for an info type. Hope you enjoyed this class. So, let us uh, start the next lecture. Thank you.